New at six tonight, neighbors call it an eyesore. A home went up in flames nine months ago, but the burned out mess is still left behind. Now the city of Laverne says they're doing everything in their power to tear it down, but things haven't been working in their favor. News Channel 5's Jennifer Reyes spoke with the head of the Coves Department to get some answers. And Jennifer, what's the holdup? Well, they can't just go in tearing things down, tearing properties down without notifying the rightful owner. And finding the owner of that property is just part of that problem. The homes at the Forest Estate subdivision in Laverne are, for the most part, well kept and pretty. But one homeowner is not very happy with the looks of the house next door and with good reason. I'm looking at a disaster, obviously. I mean, it's a, a hazard any way you want to look at it, whether you're talking safety or health. Andy Newsom says animals live here. The trash in the garage smells, and things can get downright dangerous when it gets windy. I've seen pieces fall off. One almost fell off and hit my little niece. What's even worse, Angie's been looking at this for the last nine months. That's when this house was set on fire. We were here the day after it happened. Angie thought this would be all cleaned up by now, but it hasn't happened. It's been nine months now, so we've been pretty patient. She says she's talked to the city and even tried to do her own research. But time is ticking and her landscape isn't changing. I spoke with the head of the codes department this afternoon. He didn't want to go on camera, but he tells me that he is very frustrated with how long the process has taken. Their goal is to tear down this house, but right now they can't figure out who it belongs to. I'm told the house was in foreclosure when it burned down because it was considered arson. The insurance company wouldn't pay out. And the day the city was to have a hearing to finally get the job done, well, we had a snowstorm that shut things down. So now the city has to start the entire process from the beginning, and not knowing the owner isn't helping them. As you can imagine, this doesn't sit well with Angie. It's been nine months, and you're telling me that there's no end in sight at this point to get this removed. Uh, that's a little disheartening, to say the least. Yeah, and to make things worse for Angie, she, her parents died 20 years ago in the F-14 plane crash in Antioch. If you remember that, she says looking at all the debris in the burnt down house every day affects her psychologically. So she's considering hiring an attorney to see if it will help speed up the process to get that house torn down.